Astronomicon returned to Burton Manor in Livonia, Michigan on June 24th and 25th with dozens of vendors selling comics, toys, collectibles, and more. Originating in 2018 in Sterling Heights, the latest event was numbered 6.5 since it was the second show of 2023. In addition to vendors, fans came from all over to visit with artists, wrestlers, and numerous celebrities, including actors from Kevin Smith's View Askew universe. We caught up with Jason Mewes, half of the duo known as Jay and Silent Bob, and asked him what these movies mean to him in his career. Jay, you are a golden god here. People love you. What's it like coming out here meeting with your family? Uh, it's, it's awesome being here. It's great. Uh, you know, I've been doing the, a bunch of these. Uh, I mean, years now. I mean, I started doing these, I feel like 95 is our first one. Kevin and I did right around Mall Rats. I remember we went to San Diego Comic Con and it was humongous and it was crazy. Um, but anyway, we've been doing them forever and it's awesome. Every time it's like we get to meet people uh, nonstop. There's been here at Detroit, we were just here a few months back. Um, there's a bunch of repeat people and it's like I recognize them and it's, you know, it's, it's a good thing. It's cool when you thing. say these movies have meant to you, is it fair to say that they may have saved your life? What do these movies mean to you? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, I don't know. It's like that's a big, <laughs> big statement. It's a hard statement to make because again, it's like I talk about it all the time. Not all the time. Kevin and I have spoken about it though. Like, it's interesting to think like if we if he didn't make that movie, and we didn't do Clerks, what would have I been doing? Because I I was after the movie I was roofing after Mallrats I was roofing delivering pizza like so like I would wonder like by now I would hope I would own a business a roofing business or something or I could have went down the wrong path like I did anyway and didn't have any reason to get off of things but yeah so but yeah I mean the movies mean a bunch to me I mean it's got me the opportunity to meet many people travel the world like again I had never been out of Jersey uh, when, before we did the movie, I had been, I think, to, so I lived in Jersey, I went to New York a couple of times, and I had been to Florida once. Uh, besides that, nowhere else in the world. Uh, and now I've been all over the U.S. I would imagine I've been to almost every state, I think, almost. Um, and I've been to London a couple of times, and, uh, uh, you know, we've been to Australia a few times for the reboot, uh, I mean, our or Jay and Bob get old tour and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. So the podcast, the movies, uh, it's got me to, uh, been has gotten us to travel all over. So it's been awesome. First time, this is the last question. First time you and I met, L.A. Brahmins Chinese Theater. You put your friggin' hands and feet in the cement. How surreal was that for you? Very surreal. It still is. We just actually went to the Flash premiere, Kevin and I, and it was there and we got to see them and again it's just amazing because you look at all the people who have their handprints in there and they're, they're like <laughs> legends um but also like you know there's a premiere at the theater and like people are walking over like you know like all the people in the cast are walking right past our, our handprints but it is it's very surreal because i would never have thought that you know i mean it's like you grow up and you see movies and and people hear about the stars and the handprints and I don't know, it's it's still surreal today to, to know that we have our handprints in there and stuff. And what's great, it's cool, interesting, is it's not even Jason Mewes, Kevin Smith, it's Jay and Silent Bob's handprints are in there technically. So it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty awesome. So it's been beautiful. Kevin Smith's movies are a family affair and his daughter, Harley Quinn Smith, has appeared in a few of them. Harley, pleasure meeting you. Welcome back. You were here a few months ago. Describe why you do this, why you come here. What's the experience like? I mean, it's always so amazing getting to meet everybody who comes to these events. Everybody's so kind and and uh, passionate, and it's just so meaningful to get to, to make these connections, to get to really to have conversations with people and um, answer their questions and... and um, it's just always really special to, to get to meet all these wonderful fans. Growing up in the Smith household, when did you realize your dad was kind of a big deal? Getting to make these films with my family is something that I realize is really unique and extremely special. And um, to me, it feels very much like 
a family family thing like it's I more think of it as an, a family event rather than like we're, we're, we're going to work or going to film like it seems kind of almost like its own entity um, just to be able to, to get to make these memories and create these stories with the people you love is, is such a special thing to be able to do that I, I, I'm so thankful that we all somehow got lucky enough to, to get to do together. Actor Jeremy London was on hand to meet with fans. Just don't confuse him with his twin brother, Jason. Jeremy starred in Kevin Smith's Mall Rats while his brother appeared in Dazed and Confused, and sometimes fans get them mixed up. Talk about your experience with Mall Rats working with Kevin. What did that mean to you in your career? Well, I never would have imagined back then that it would lead to us, you know, almost 30 years later all reuniting. I mean, I haven't seen this beautiful lady in so long and uh, and it, it's turning out to be more um, important in my life than I ever thought it would be, you know? Yeah. Uh, this is the one that's not going away. It kind of seems to sort of just be, uh, um, it's sticking around and I never would have guessed because it did so poorly at the movie theater that <laughs> this would be the one. But um, knowing Kevin and knowing uh, Kevin's heart and how, how hard he's worked uh, to establish uh, himself in, in sort of just the, you know, the, the, the fiber of Hollywood and sort of pop culture uh, has been such a boon for all of us, you know. And so I'm so grateful for Kevin Smith, you know, on so many levels. Um, but I'm grateful for my family here and the convention family. And this, you know, this is a really, really nice group of people so far, man. Uh, so Astronomicon is... Uh, Stellar. I'm impressed so far, man. Really impressed. Now, just a moment ago, I was standing back there. I witnessed something that happened, and I can't imagine it's the first time this is happening. You have a twin brother. Do people ever come up to you with uh, days and confused merchandise? Do you ever just sign yes. it? <laughs> yes. You know, if I can tell that it just means so much to them, and the experience is the same for them. If they think they're meeting Jason London and the guy from Days and Confused and it means that much to them and it's going to break their heart and I can tell it's going to break their heart, <laughs> I'll just roll with it. But there's also the group of people that well that think that I'm lying about having a twin and they, then all of a sudden they think I'm just a jerk. They're like, why would he, why would you lie about like, you think you're so big, you don't want to admit you're in the, I'm like, it's not me. <laughs> Read the credits. So I've had to deal with those people too. So um, overall, I, I try to get a feel for the situation. If I feel like they're a good, reasonable person that just is, you know, confused by the fact that there's two of us and they didn't realize it, I'll sometimes explain it to them. But most of the time, I'll just go, okay, sure, sure, let's just do it. Because it, in the end, the experience is the same for them. And that's what matters really, ultimately. And you're clearly better looking at the two, right? You said it, not me. But, you know, the truth is, I'm kidding. We also had a chance to meet Heather Langenkamp, who gained fame as Nancy Thompson in the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Heather has been immortalized alongside fellow screen queens like Jamie Lee Curtis and Nev Campbell. Heather, thanks for coming to Michigan. First of all, at these events, what do you enjoy about interacting with your fans, your, the, your people? Well, honestly, after 40 years of doing this, I would think like everyone had already met me, but it's always fun to meet. There's always a new generation that's, you know, getting into the nightmare movies. So I'm happy that I can help usher them into you know, loving Freddie and Nancy. So I, I always have new conversations with young folks and old folks alike. I love it. Talk about what these movies, the impact they've had on you, your life, your career. Well, I certainly realize that I've played like one of the greatest roles of all time in the horror genre and I really appreciate that part of being Nancy and uh, people tell me all the time how important she was to their growing up or you know parts of their life that might have been difficult where they looked at Nancy as a as a way through their difficulties so that's definitely the most uh, touching part of hearing folks stories about their relationship with Nancy yeah, because she's, she's not just a victim, she's a strong character. She kind of kicks some Freddy butt, right? Yeah, I mean, I think everybody inside of them has a little bit of Nancy if they look for it. You know, they, uh, they can watch her and see how she manages all these, you know, incredible problems with her life. And, and I do find that people use her and 
And uh, I have used her from time to time in my life, so I know that it's possible to do that. That's awesome. Last question, what does the term scream queen mean to you? It's, it seems a little bit of a misnomer, but you're, you're in fantastic company with actresses who've kind of fallen into that scream queen category. Yeah, I mean, I look at it both ways. If you're screaming at the movie, then, uh, you know, I'm part of that. You know, I, I do do some good screams in the show, so I, I am very proud of that. And um, it's a term that I had to learn to love, but I do love it now. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank Pleasure you. meeting you. Nice to meet you, too. Thanks. Enjoy. For information about future events, visit Astronomicon.com. In Livonia, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News.